Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to GameSpot's E3 coverage here on day one on the GameSpot stage, one of two live stages we have blazing all day today from noon to six. I'm your host, Chris Waters. So excited to be joining you for this year's E3. It's already been a big one so far. We saw a ton of games at the press conferences yesterday and then at Nintendo Direct this morning. But our first demo is one you haven't seen and one you really haven't seen anything like. Joining me on stage, Terry Vellman, the creator of Heavy Bullets, as well as Nigel from Devolver Digital. Terry, Nigel, welcome to the stage. Thank you. Very happy to be here. We're very excited to be here showing off the game. Yeah, we're so psyched to kick off our show with you guys. Uh, I want people to see gameplay like almost immediately of this because it's Heavy Bullets is such a visually striking game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, there's some stuff that's going to be immediately understandable to some folks. There's a gun in your hand. Sure. There, there are environments that you're navigating through, but I feel like we're going to need a little help understanding what this game's Let's all about. Do this. So you start the game with a gun, six bullets, and three bombs, and you got to make your way through eight levels to get to the eighth one where the mainframe is like glitching. So uh -huh. you got to fix it. So because the road had a security system that took care of these monsters, uh, but uh, now they're attacking you instead of the monsters, so you got to deal with both of them at the same time. So you, you started the level, the levels are randomized, so every time you play it's a little bit different, you oh, don't okay. really know what's around the corner. And um, you just got to be fast, you got to be precise, and it's pretty hard, and you know, there are items, there are a bunch of stuff. When you shoot a bullet, like you just kill the imp. And there it is, bouncing around. Yeah. And because you're, you know, you, you don't have a lot of clips. You don't have a lot of fast loaders there ready for you to just, like, replenish, you gotta, replenish, replenish. You got to reload replenish. one bullet at a time when you start the game. You can upgrade that so you can reload more bullets. Okay. Um, every time you kill something, you get uh, these coins that are jumping around, right? Uh-huh. And um, you can use that to buy, you know, items, health, and upgrade your character. You can also s deposit your money on the bank. So if you die, you can withdraw it on another run. Fiscal responsibility. Yeah, ah. you gotta manage your money. <laughs> you can get life insurance because if you die, life insurance yeah. too. You can man, get. Man, you're being hella responsible with your life decisions in this yeah, game. Yeah, man. <laughs> and then uh, you can get some of your money back. You can actually get a less will if you carry it with you and you die. You get all your money, your bullets, your bombs, everything back for a second run, so you can try again. Which, if anyone has ever played a rogue like before, you know that's a huge advantage because sure. otherwise you're wiping the slate clean. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so this is, we're still here on the first of eight levels, you said? Yeah, yeah. And now, we've sort of been going through some doors. Uh, what, what is traversing through the level like? I mean, there's obviously sort of, you know, taking care of these chompers coming at you real hard and fast. I yeah, like, yeah. by the way, how they dissolve into the polygons, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. into their component parts. It's cool. Uh, you know, is it just sort of like vanquish enemies and make smart financial decisions, or are there puzzles or anything you got to work out? Um. You, you got to figure out how to kill the enemies. The first time you meet one, like, there's a bunch of new enemies as you progress through the game. Yeah. And you got to figure that out. And it can get pretty intense if you're far into the game and, you know, you might die and you see something new. You got to figure out how to kill that. So there's that. Um, most of the enemies die with just one shot. Okay. So you, that's kind of helpful because you only get six bullets and sure, stuff. Sure, but if there's four enemies here and then four more around the corner, yeah. you're in trouble because you only have the six bullets. That's when the strategy kicks in. You got to position yourself. You can aggro some enemies so they come at you. Mm -hmm. You got to stay behind pillars so the turrets are not shooting at you, that kind of thing. Um, there are two bosses in the game, one okay. at the end of level four, and then the, the mainframe boss, which is the last boss. There are a bunch of items oh, that you can pick oh, Nigel, up. you died. That was all right, though. That was a good run. Reach level two, is that a pretty uh, pretty solid outing? Well, I mean, you know, not exactly the the most, pr you know, s easy circumstances to yeah. attempt a game demo in. Well, um, as you play the game, you, you learn the mechanics and you get better at sure. it. And at one point you will beat the game. And then I, I'm, I'm figuring out leaderboards so people can try to speed run and be faster at the game. Because once you get skilled, it really becomes a whole different game. You know, you just got to take... The games, you get good at it if you take it slowly. If uh -huh. you just rush into rooms, you're going to die. It's going to be a real yeah. problem for you. So you got to take it slow. Listen so you can listen to what's going on in the world. Like, audio cues are very important. And the music's made by Those One. Yeah. He's like great guy, very talented musician. And he's insane. <laughs> I think that's one of the things I, I really love about uh, many independent games is they, you know, it's, there's often a collaboration between yeah. game design and a musician, and yeah, yeah. the music then becomes such an influential part of the game and the aesthetic and the experience of playing. Yeah, and he's come up with a lot of good ideas that we're putting in the game. Like, the player 
he has like some voices now. Like when you get poison, he's like, rrr, 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 and it's so cool. I hope you get poison soon so you can hear it. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you get poisoned, Nigel. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for coming out. <laughs> and then there's some items that you can pick up if you find a key card. They're locked behind the locked doors. Okay. There's also secret items. If you find them, there's a little X on the wall sometimes. Mm -hmm. Some weird stuff in the secret items. Because, uh, you know, you sort of. The walls sort of seem like they would start to look the same. You sort of got these color gradients, and you've, you know, you got a few environmental things like the, these sort of rocks and these spires and these abutments. So, but, you know, you, you have to be on the lookout for these sort of little little clues. Yeah, yeah. You, you start learning about the universe when you're playing. Because you got, for example, these, that snake. Oh, wow. It I gets did not a lot of people that. out of nowhere, but you, you learn that they're always around these bushes, these pink bushes. So you start looking out for them. Mm -hmm. And then you start feeling comfortable and they start getting you again because you <laughs> stop looking out for them. So it's really cool. <laughs> That's not, And so, you know, you're talking about dying a lot in this yeah. game. You're talking about making the challenge for the player there. And I feel like one of the tough parts about roguelike development is finding that line between, sure. like, you know, throw your hands up in agony challenge or one more try, one more try. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, I learned a little bit, I'm getting a little bit right, better, right. that kind of challenge. Well, that's where early access has been really cool because people have been helping like a lot, really, really, really. A lot of feedback. Uh, I was just seeing how people find about the difficulty. So, like when we first released on early access, sorry, um, people were having a hard time with the first few levels, uh -huh. and then once they figured that out, the later levels were a bit easy for them. So I had to like rebalance everything, and all the first few levels would be easier. Figure out some new ways to yeah, challenge them. Yeah. And it's hard because by yourself, you know, you, you can't figure that stuff out. So Steam users have been really, really cool. That's great. It's always great when games engender that sense of community and like, yeah. I need a little help here. Is there yeah. someone who can help me out? And so the early access community, of course, that's on Steam. Uh, folks can download it for the PC now. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you, you've been, how long has it been on there? How many updates have you sort of put out for it? I'm, I'm trying to do weekly updates. It's been like a, a month. This week I'm not going to do it because I'm over here, but next week I'm back at work. Your weekly update is posting this video, you know, to yeah, the, sure, the Steam sure. page when you get yeah. back. <laughs> so I've been fixing bugs, you know, just getting more content and seeing what people feel about the game, balancing. It's been, it's, it's been awesome, really. Yeah. I, I really, this is my first game, right? And I've been really loving making games, man. It's so good. That's pretty incredible, too. I mean, your first game, so what's your, your sort of, you know, did you poke around with like modding maps or did you go to school for design? Like how, how did you come into this and decide like, all right, this is going to happen. I'm going to make a game. Yeah. So I've been a graphic designer, interactive designer for some years now. Uh -huh. and, um, I have a lot of free time because I work from home and I love games and I've just seen what people are doing and it's like, I, I, I got to get in on this. <laughs> so I no internet. You can just figure everything out with the internet. It's these an incredible, yeah. The, the, the stuff is out there. You just need to have the time to dedicate to it. Yeah, so I just I shut down my Facebook, you know, so I don't, and just focus on learning the game. It's been really hard, but really rewarding for sure. And um, making games is so exciting when you start thinking about what you're going to do in the future, right? It's just so crazy. Mm -hmm. And um, this game, I, I just started playing around with an idea for a game jam. It was 70 FPS. That's when I started. And I just liked it and just kept going with it, you know, because I was having fun with the game myself. And, and I can't believe I'm here. And, it's crazy. <laughs> and here you are. Yeah, yeah. Showing off heavy bullets here at E3. And uh, it's looking pretty incredible. Folks, just a reminder, we're going to be taking your questions on all the games we're playing here on the live stage show. You can send them to us via Twitter using the hashtag GameSpot E3 or into the GameSpot chat right there on the stream you are watching. And this is heavy bullets right now. Nigel, making pretty good work of these chompy guys coming at him. Got snaked at one point, but we'll forgive you, you know. There yeah, we go. There go. He's learning. You go back to get the item. There's Some doors are locked, and you got to find the key card like this one. Uh huh. So if you open it, you get, like, in this case, bombs. But it's random, so it really depends on, on what you're doing. Are there, in terms of sort of the item set, how sort of diverse are you getting about player, you know, what the player can use, abilities and stuff? Very diverse. Um, some stuff is very useful, other stuff's not so much. But uh -huh. since the game is randomized, I think it, that's kind of cool because you just find a new item and then you got to like figure out how it works. Is one of the things you I mean, are you talking about like, you could find some bombs or you could find a hat. Doesn't it look shanty? <laughs> yep. You, you got <laughs> teleporter, proximity sensor, like homing bombs, mega bombs. You got weird stuff like high heels and stuff like that you can find around the game and high try heels? to make sense of it. <laughs> the items, you can sell the items if you want. You don't have to use them. Okay. You can store them for later, like another playthrough, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm.
And uh, oh, there's a secret item. So it's a uh, gold skull. Gold yeah. skull. That so that seems to me. Yeah. You know, like you would want to sell it, but. Uh, what, like, can we look at that sc that pause screen again, real quick? Yeah. You have it, you've got different levels of your abilities here. Yeah, yeah, sure. So, like the reload, if you upgrade it, you can reload more than one bullet at the same time. At the start of the game, it doesn't make that much of a difference, but later on, you really want to upgrade that thing. Mm -hmm. And in this case, you can see that the item, you know, I, so the secret items. I'm a, I'm a bit more mysterious with those. You got to figure those out. In this case, it gives you more money when you kill something. The gold skull, that kind of makes yeah. sense. Makes you know. sense, yeah. But you can also sell it for some, some nice cash. Yeah. And I'm sure that's something that the community enjoys trying to figure out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People have been figuring out stuff for themselves, and it's been really cool. I try to not say anything, <laughs> just let them figure it out and have fun, you know, because it's kind of what I like with games when I, when I play them, you know, yeah. just learn about it. And, of course, you got to balance it out, and that's what I'm learning with early access, and those guys are really helping me out, and it's been really cool. Very cool. Uh, we've got a question coming in via Twitter, uh, user wondering, uh, is there anything that people have not figured out yet? Yes. Uh, is there stuff out there that people are still puzzling about? Yeah, some items people are trying to figure out what they do. Uh huh. I don't want to give it away. They're no, we, I don't want soon. you to. Yeah, I just yeah. want you to gloat a little bit sure. that they haven't figured it out. And I still <laughs> have, I think my crazier ideas for items are still, I'm still going to do them. I want to do some stuff with those one because that guy is insane. I want to get more of his stuff in the game. Mm -hmm. I think he just completely changed the game when he, he got in it. I'm so so happy to be working with him. Very cool. Uh, so heavy bullets here. It's available now on Steam Early Access. Yeah, for PC, Mac, and Linux. For PC, Mac, and Linux. E excellent. Terry, thank you so much for coming on and showing it off. The game looks really, really cool. Uh, you folks can get into it now on PC and Hope you have a great show, man. Thanks for Thank kicking you. the I'm show Thank you. I'm so happy off. to be here.